y of x has a total of six constants. What are they? Notice I got a y, m a, c one, c two, c three, c four. We have to evaluate these six constants. So we are going to evaluate these six constants by using appropriate conditions. Of the constants is what we are going to do now. The way we do it is we go through each intersection point. That is, we are going to start with A. Look at what we know about A. Then we go to B. We look at what we know about B. Then we go to C, and we look at all what we know about C. At each location, we will get two conditions, right? So we will get two conditions at each location. So I want you to understand that two conditions at each location, which implies a total of six conditions. Again, not to worry. The six conditions are actually easy to do. So let us see. At A, it is a clamped beam. So it's a clamped beam, which implies displacement is zero. Let me write this properly. I gotta have. Y A is zero and theta A is zero. This is slope and this is displacement. Typically, we will do the slope first and then the displacement. So what we are going to do is we are going to put theta A equal to zero implies theta at zero equal to zero. That implies. Notice if I want to do theta at zero, I want to use this one. Because that's what is valid for x equal to zero. Can you see that? For x equal to zero, that's what is valid. So I'm going to put x equal to zero here. This term goes away. That term goes away. I'll just get a very simple one, which says c1 is zero. The next one is y_a is zero. Which implies y at zero is zero. Which implies I go back up here. This is what I need to use. I already found that c one was zero. So now I'm left with c three. So I'm going to just look at x x equal to zero, and immediately I will get c three is zero. Well, that looks easy, right? C three is zero. So we are done with. Point A. Now let us look at point B. This is the tricky one. At point B, our condition is slope is continuous What it means is that theta B from left equal to theta B from right. What do I mean by left and right? Look, we have two expressions for theta, right? This one and this one. At x equal to b, whether I evaluate theta from this side or whether I evaluate theta from this side, the answers have to match. That means at x equal to b, at x b, this value and that value has to match. So what does that mean? Let us see. So what it means is the following. A y over two e i plus m a sorry m a over e i. Remember x b is one equals a y minus four over two e i plus m b sorry m a over Ma plus four over ei 
plus C2. Where did I get this? From here. I put x equal to 1 and I got ay over 2ei plus ma over ei plus c1 is anyway not there. So that's where I got there. The other one I got from here. ay minus 4 over 2ei plus ma plus 4 over ei because x is 1 plus c2. So what happens is I get this and that's pretty easy to solve. I will get rid of the, these two terms because they will cancel out and I'll get something very simple c2 equals 2 over ei minus 4 over ei which is minus 2 over ei. The next condition is going to be displacement is continuous. Displacement at B is continuous. Again, the point is these two conditions are to be used at all interior points of the beam. What do I mean by interior points? That means that the points that are not at the end. You know what I mean? If this is an interior point, so the beam has to be nice and smooth there, right? That's all we are saying. So slope has to be the same displacement as we say. If displacement is not the same, that means the beam is broken. If slope is not the same, that means the beam has been bent, right? It has been it has been made into a sharp beam. So neither of these things are true. So we are just going to use that. So what happens is again y from left must be equal to y from right. Again, xb equal to 1. So I am going to evaluate these two things. I am going to evaluate this and I am going to compare it with evaluating this at x equal to 1. So if I do that, I will get ay over 6ei plus m a over 2 e i equals a y minus 4 over 6 e i plus m a plus 4 over 2 e i plus c2. c2 is minus 2 over e i times 1 plus c4 must be these two must be the same. Okay. This is the continuity condition. Immediately it will tell me this, 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 this get cancelled out and it's pretty easy for you to get C4 equals 2 over EI minus 4 over plus 4 over 6 EI minus 4 over 2 EI which is 2 over that's very nice, right? So we are done with point B. So we are beginning to get all the answers, right? Here is one. Here is the other. Right? Here is the third. So we already evaluated four constants. We are left with two more. For that, we have to look at the other end of the boundary. So now we are at 